लेसन नंबर वन द लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ एनिमल्स कैन यू टेल लुक एट द पपीज एंड देर मदर इन द पिक्चर डू यू सी सम सिमिलरिटीज लुक एट द बटरफ्लाई एंड द कैटर पिलर दैट एज कम आउट ऑफ द एग Do you see any similarities? A hen lays eggs. Chicks come out of those eggs. Do kittens come out of eggs? The growth of animals. A kid and a fully grown goat are not very different to look at. There is. not much difference between a kitten and an adult cat these babies grow in their mother's tummy and are born from the mother's tummy too these animals do not lay eggs but some animals like crows spiders lizards lay eggs a chicken is born from an egg ants butterflies fish frogs snakes are all animals that lay eggs but we do not often see their eggs the eggs of some very small animals are very tiny we would hardly notice them so we do not come to know that these animals lay eggs but we know for sure that a hen lays eggs or eggs are big enough to be seen easily a new term hatch when a hen sits on her eggs to warm them she is said to be hatching or eggs a uh, and lays eggs warmth is necessary for the chicks to grow inside the egg so after laying them the and sits on the eggs to keep them warm the chicks inside slowly keep growing when its growth is complete the chick breaks the egg shell and comes out the hen looks after its chicks till they grow a little bigger do you know when a hen is hatching her eggs she becomes aggressive for fear of their safety she attacks anyone who tries to go near the x use your brain power what are the similarities between the n and our chick metamorphosis there are similarities between a goat and its kid and between a hen and our chick however caterpillar and a butterfly are very different thus in some animals the young one grows into an adult animal that looks very different from the young one this change of form is called metamorphosis metamorphosis in a butterfly butterflies of various shapes and beautiful colors are a part of our environment they live their life among plants as butterflies grow they pass through four stages these are egg larva pupa and adult the adult stage is called butterfly 
the plain tiger butterfly is a very common one let us take its example to see how the growth of a butterfly takes place the female plain tiger butterfly lays an egg on the milkweed rui leaf in 6 to 8 days the larva emerges from the egg the larva of a butterfly is called a caterpillar when the caterpillar comes out of the egg it is very hungry it begins to nibble and eat the very leaf on which it emerges from the egg it eats very fast so its growth is very rapid a new term molt to shed old skin to make way for new growth the caterpillar of the plain tiger butterfly grows so rapidly in the first 2 or 3 days that it does not fit in its skin anymore but under the old skin a new loose skin is formed on the growing caterpillar then the caterpillar sheds the old skin that is its molds again it begins to gobble up the leaf and continues to grow rapidly in 2 or 3 days it molds a second time in this way it molds four times it remains in the caterpillar stage for 10 to 12 days just before the last mow the caterpillar weaves a button of a silken thread on a stalk or a leaf and hangs itself from it when it mows this time it forms a pupa which is the next stage of its growth the pupa of a butterfly is also called a chrysalis it remains inside the chrysalis for the next 11 or 12 days it does not eat anything during this stage however inside the chrysalis important changes take place in its body the growth of the plain tiger gets completed inside the chrysalis then the adult butterfly emerges from the chrysalis it now has four attractive wings and six long legs all butterflies go through these stages of growth do you know for each type of butterfly the type of plants on whose leaves its female will lay x is fixed the time the larva take to emerge from the x is different for different types of butterflies there is great variety in caterpillars different types of caterpillars are of different colors their body is long many types of caterpillars are hairy do you know after we have cleaned the grain we buy we store it in a box even then when we open the box after some days we may see some insects in it there can be insects in the grain 
stored in places like warehouses in the grocer shop or even in our homes now if a female insect lays eggs in this grain we cannot see them because of their tiny size the warmth and hair they get in the box in which the grain is stored is enough for them to grow so their growth continues inside the box they also have the same stages of growth namely egg larva pupa and adult when we open the box we see the insects in the grain at the different stages of growth in which they are what we have learned a hen sits on her eggs to hatch them the fully grown chick breaks the egg shell and comes out egg egg caterpillar larva chrysalis pupa and adult are the four stages of the life cycle of a butterfly the plain tiger butterfly lays its eggs on the leaves of the milkweed plant the larva emerges from the egg it is called the caterpillar when the growth of the caterpillar is complete it enters the pupa stage during which it lives inside the chrysalis the adult butterfly emerges from the chrysalis it has six long legs and four attractive wings always remember butterflies are a part of our environment it is wrong to catch butterflies just for fun and to keep them tied with a string